and welcome to the World Numismatic News' Mercury Dime Varieties You Should Know, Episode 3. Well, 1942 has certainly a lot of varieties, and indeed, very attractive and valuable ones at that, for you to keep an eye out for within the Mercury Dime series. Now, one that is perhaps overlooked and definitely overshadowed would be a repunched mint mark coin from the Denver Mint. The repunching is very easy to spot, as the initial strike was completely southeast of the final placement, leaving clear evidence behind both towards the bottom of the letter D and inside the cavity of the mint mark as well. Another prominent feature that you can keep an eye out for to confirm the variety for this coin would be the die crack that runs across the Rick portion of America, running across across the top of the letters, almost parallel towards the rim of the coin. An example graded as MS-63 by PCGS was sold at auction in 2021 for $325. Then we have an extremely rare coin indeed, another repunched mint mark from the Denver Mint. And as an indication of its true rarity, the variety was not actually discovered and fully attributed until the late 1990s. And since then, they, only a handful of these coins have been added to the population report over time. This is in fact a 1945D over horizontal D repunched mint mark, where the initial strike was placed on its side instead of upright. The mistake was then necessarily recorrected by punching over that with a final D mint mark that we can now see, this time in the correct orientation. What appears to be the bottom rounding of the D can now be seen towards the left of the straight bar of the D, with additional evidence, ostensibly the top serif of the initial punching, peeking out on the opposite side towards the east. Now this should be an extremely valuable coin if it is brought to market, but due to the challenges of its actual rarity, that seldomly occurs. An example was reportedly sold in 2010, graded MS65 for $809, but I was unable to verify that independently, so take that as you may. And then from there, we turn our attention to a double die obvious coin from 1945 once again. But this time, there is no mint mark, as the Philadelphia Mint was responsible for creating this. And the variety in question is a quite unique double die obvious coin to look for. Now, doubling is rather clear on the date of the coin, displaying in a largely south-southwesterly direction, since there is no major doubling on any other elements of the design, with only extremely minor doubling diminishing as you move further away from the date, as with the Y of Liberty, for instance, pivoted hub doubling is the clear culprit in this case. Another coin, which value seems to be in flux, so, well, at least up for debate, as price guides would indicate $700 to perhaps $1,000 for a mint state example. A coin which was graded as MS62 was in fact sold more than a decade ago for almost $1,000 at auction. However, when a new example was brought to public auction only in 2019, it only managed to raise a scantily $61 by comparison. Subscribe to WNN and activate notifications with the bell icon on to know when new videos are released. For the World Numismatic News, I am Numisman Singh. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, keep collecting, and have a fantastic day.